Destruction no damage. <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing in my swamp? I got you, homie. Sagittarius, good morning. How are you doing? So as you can see up on the screen, 15 questions, 15 numbers, 15 questions. Uh, I'm going to ask that machine over there for two different numbers. There will be two different questions, and the second number will be halfway through the video, and that will be your second question. That's the way to do business, Dave. <laughs> so obviously, if you watch your Summon Rising Venus Jupiter North Node, you also get to find out maybe if there's a different question. Okay. So, Alexa. Pick a number between 1 and 15. Here's a number between 1 and 15. It's 2. 2. So you get number 2 for a start, which is challenges and do's and don'ts this week. Okay, well. The general tarot reading for now, basically. So let's see. Sagittarius. What other challenges going to be? What is Sagittarius's challenges? That they are faced with challenges? Show me Sagittarius's challenges. So your challenges are that you more than likely are not speaking to this person. Okay. Could be a Leo. Aries Leo. Maybe Sagittarius itself. Okay. Then you've also got Leo for me, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be a paradox number. If it's Leo, it's Aquarian and so on and so forth, because I read in numerology. So this is basically um, is mm, learning to communicate more adultly, okay, if you like. This can be a child, okay, and we need to learn to communicate on more of uh, more of a forgiving energy, like an apology. Someone wants an apology. Someone probably does want to talk, but you're going to have to reach out in order to be able to talk. If that's what you are actually in the in the realms of kind of doing, Robin, if that is kind of what you're doing, then there's the challenge is um, communicating more on a – how do I put this without being condescending? More on a adult level than a childish level here. Okay, trust me when I tell you that adults can be bigger children than actual children itself when it comes to, like, ego. This is very much of an ego-driven card. But not saying that it's anybody's fault. It's just, like, it's communicating um, more amicably. Let's put it that way. Okay. So let's see. What are the challenges that Sagittarius are faced with? What are the challenges? So you've got the Queen of Swords in reverse, Sagittarius. Oh, okay. So, well, finding out for a start for this person or you if there is another woman involved. It doesn't always have to be, but this will be the beginning of the message. Okay. Is there another woman in this picture? If so, then this is trying to find out. Curious about asking, are you seeing another woman? Is that the reason why we are not together? Because you're seeing another woman. Now, this is also very blunt conversations, and it can also so it could be James or Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, or anybody's got J in their name. Okay, but um, very blunt conversations, and I need to calm down on my aggression. The Queen of Swords can be very analytical, but she can also not want to put up with any shit either, okay? So if you are dealing with someone, anybody out there, you're dealing with someone who's like, look, I am not putting up with your shit, then that is a challenge, right? Because it means that don't talk to each other that way, okay? So if you're not speaking to other, each other, your challenge is because that's the way that you've spoke to one another. Disagreeing. This is disagreeing against this energy. This energy disagrees against the Queen of Swords also. Okay, so it can be think before you speak. This is thinking, this is speaking, but this is speaking like I'm going to start having a go at you if you really start pissing me off. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so your challenge is be careful on how you're communicating with one another. That's big, 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 big challenge there is to think, think before you speak. That's in general anyway. Think before you speak. Okay, look before you leap. Okay, if this is reconciliation, think about it first before you go and let someone back into your life if you've split up. Why? Because of trust, right? Trust is something that, why I keep been mentioning just lately, fact over fiction, is because the facts are that when you allow someone back into your life, okay, you are hopefully supposed to trust them. Because if it's, okay, I don't trust you, but I'm going to allow you back into my life and then we'll build on the trust whilst I'm not trusting you, those trust issues are going to come up again because you haven't been forgiven or they haven't been forgiven, okay? This is, do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you forgive me? Do you forgive me not? But the conversation of the challenge might be, how are you going to tackle this without arguing? Are you going to be able to come to any kind of amicable agreement? Okay, 
don't forget it's very important that when you are communicating with anybody in life, nobody likes to be told what to do. Nobody likes to be told what to do, okay? Nobody, okay? So if there is an energy of like, look, you're trying to control my work, you're trying to control me and tell me what to do, I don't like being told what to do, and I don't like it when you do that, then think before you speak, okay? Now, because there's always an action for a reaction, and you always get a reaction by how someone's acting, right? That's always that way. You're acting childish. Stop acting so childish. I'm not acting childish. You are. Disagreement, argument, separation, avoidance. You're avoiding me. Why are you avoiding speaking to me? Because you're violent. Because you speak before you think. You accuse me of things that I may or may not have done. You're saying that I did this, but I'm saying that I didn't. Treat the wife, treat somebody else's wife. It's a lot more fun if you don't get caught. Okay, do you believe me or don't you believe me? Do you want to be with me or don't you want to be with me? Do you love me or do you hate me? It's Steve's verb, okay? You, can make a, you cannot make a person fall in love with you, but you can make a person fall out of love with you by keep doing it. Right. And he gobs out a mouthful of booze covering fatty. He flicks a flaming match into his bird's nest and the geezer's lit up like a leaking gas pipe. So when it comes down to trust issues, if a person is not trusting someone from the get-go, but you think, OK, let's go back into this without me trusting you again, then you're just going to mess up the future and not have worked on yourself because you're instantly just going to say yes. So your challenges are... Yes or no? Do you trust the person or not? Are they going to argue again or are they not? Okay. If I say not, you say Pisces swinging on a tree, one, two, three, could be in their chart somewhere, or a life path three. Okay. Don't forget you can watch this as Sagittarius, Taurus, or as a life path five. Okay. Because I deal in numerology. Okay. So let's see. Sagittarius, what are their challenges that they're going to be faced with, their challenges? So the challenges are being emotionally unfulfilled. It's trying to fulfill someone else's dreams, trying to make them happy, or them, M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. Okay, a person cannot make another person happy because if you always come up against, well, I can never seem to satisfy your need. You always need me to make you happy. Why is it that I have to make you happy? Why can't you be happy with me? Well, I am, but I want to be around you all the time. Well, I can't be around you all the time. So why can you not be satisfied with what I can give you? Well, I'm not. Well, then we're just going to lead into more arguments. Why are you always emotionally unfulfilled? Because you're cheating, you're lying, you're doing this. Well, why are you with me then? Okay, why is it that you want to be around me? What is it that you love about me? Well, I... Well, what are they then? Will you love me for that? Well, then there's a question. So then why is this going to continue to happen? It only happens because of the chart. Your chart has oppositions within each other, okay? If you've got five, which you are, of Sagittarian, and the other person has any placement of four, you're going to come up against an opposition because that's blocked against arguing. Don't want to listen, you're not opening up to me. I have, but you've made me close down. You're pushing me away. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, <laughs> right? <clears throat> so you get this feeling of being that I cannot, like one is I'm emotionally unsatisfied with the amount of things that you're giving me. I don't think it's satisfactory. I think you should be doing more for me. I think you should be giving me more feelings, more time. You should want me more. You should want to be around me all of the time. Okay, but that's difficult to do, right? So if a person doesn't want to be around someone all the time, people need what? Sagittarius or Crosswatcher? Okay, time on their own. Okay, too much time spent with a person will drive you absolutely crazy if you're on top of one another all the time. If you are not and you are on your own and someone enjoys that time on their own, then why are they not allowed to do that? Because if you if you or they think that you're not allowed to do that, then that's controlling the other person, right? It comes up as a control issue. I'm trying to control what you do, what you say, what you don't say, how you say it to me, 
how you don't say it to me. You still have options. You don't have to be with one another again. But there is love here because the King of Wands is also very passionate. But someone yesterday when I was doing the readings, when I said pleasure and pain, they didn't get it, right, when fives came up in the reading. How can people, you've got a seven of swords underneath there. How do people not get when I talk about pleasure and pain, right? Look at someone that does self-harm to themselves, right? They cut themselves, right? It's awful infliction that they do upon themselves, but they do it for release because they like pain, right? So they cut themselves to release pain and anguish that's in them. They cut themselves. Now, the normal average Joe like myself wouldn't even dream about cutting myself, right? Because I don't like pain, right? So I wouldn't do things like that. <clears throat> but when it comes to, like, control issues, right, control issues, people go through cycles of, con of pleasure and pain, which means that the, the pleasure of splitting up is, to the average Joe, quite shit, right? But unknowingly, with sabotage, I'm making this happen to argue with you because the makeup sex is better when we've actually argued and we get back together. That feeling of like, oh my god, the sex is great once we've once I've pissed you off and you're annoyed, and then we're back together again. That feeling of being back together again is hypnotic. I'm addicted to that energy. It's like cutting themselves. People that cut themselves, self-harm, they get addicted to doing it and they do it more and more. This is why it's like an addiction. Nines are an addiction, okay, because they're codependent, right? So it's like this pleasure or pain, pleasure and pain, okay, <clears throat> inflicting upon pain upon the person that you actually love in order to be able to make up again, which is self-control. I'm controlling the way this relationship goes by destroying it and then watching it grow and build up to the point where it's elation and then destroying it again. And then we go through the cycle again because it's a period of control. Now, it's either narcissism or it's actual control issues. Okay. That's what you've got in your reading. <clears throat> now, just because this says, uh, says Sagittarius, doesn't have to be your reading. If it doesn't and it doesn't relate, it doesn't relate. I've cut off my comment section because I am not a shit sponge for anybody anymore. People complaining at moaning at me that the readings are not relating to them. Well, that's just anal. If they're not relating to you, then don't watch or watch a different reading. Okay. If it relates to you and you don't like what you're hearing, then go off and find someone that's going to lie to your face and not help you where you keep following the rabbit hole, down and down and down, looking for an answer that you've already had. Nine, okay? Virgo energy, life path nine. doesn't have to be a Virgo, right? Or a life path nine, but it's still the rabbit hole. I'm still looking for an answer to why the fuck this keeps happening. Why does this keep happening? It only happens because of ego. This is ego-driven card. Ego-driven, right? I don't like it the way you talk to me, okay? Well, I don't like the way you talk to me either. Okay, well, let's not talk then. Okay, let's not talk. Okay, so it's showing your chart. You can keep going through these as many times as you want. Okay, no one's in control of your life. You can do it yourself. Okay, I can just guide you through what it's saying about um, what the question is, or what you're challenged with, is communicating, is not telling each other what to do, is to give each other space when they want it. Okay. Is to it, because if you ever, ever, or anybody, anybody out there ever feels unemotionally satisfied in a connection, it's not down to the other person to question it. It's down to the person with the issue of not being emotionally satisfied. That's the person that has to answer the question, regardless of whoever it is. You can get one person that's satisfied and the other one that isn't satisfied. And that's what's caused the argument. I am not satisfied with you doing what you're doing, but you're not in control of my life, whether we're married or whether we're just seeing each other or whether it's just a connection or you're a mother or your father. You are not in control of my life. You are until I'm 16, but then when I'm 16, I can do what the fuck I want. Well, if you're living here, then go elsewhere. Okay, because there are rules when you're living here, right, for free. <clears throat> it's my house. <laughs> right so you got rules then you abide by it but because you're in a relationship when you come up with rules and regulations 
there shouldn't really be any rules and regulations in a relationship because that's why you'll always come up with this, right? Structure, five, right? I believe that things are supposed to go this way. I like to plan things, right? <clears throat> If it comes up as a five like Taurus, okay, I love to plan things. And when a plan doesn't come together, we're fucking Hannibal and Cannibal and B.A. I ain't getting on no plane, fool. You ain't talking to me like that, fool. Okay. I like to make plans. When a plan doesn't go my way, I don't like it because I made a plan and you broke it because you can't make it. So why make a plan in the first place? Well, I don't like making plans. You do. I don't. Okay. You want to go out. I don't. You like hot potatoes. I like cold potatoes. You want to go to Spain. I want to go to Italy. Okay. Difference of opinion. Okay. Some people like to plan things. Some people don't. Some people like to arrange ahead of time. Me, I can't stand it. I have to go with the flow. I'm spontaneous. Some people are not spontaneous. They like to plan. Well, we plan to see each other tomorrow. Why did you break your promise? Well, I had to work. I, I can't help that. Right? <clears throat> the biggest controlling energy there is, is life. That's the biggest controlling thing. Because you have to go with the flow of life. Because life will eat you up if you believe that life isn't the most controlling energy that there is. Okay. So let's see. What are the challenges that Sagittarius will be faced with? So you've got yourselves and also the king of swords. Okay. So <clears throat> this gets a little bit juicy. Lucy, Lucy, Laura, Lucifer, Capricorn, maybe, Louise, Linda. Anybody's got L in their name? Okay. So you've got the king and the queen of swords as counterparts that are not no longer counterparts. That's an ex-husband and an ex-wife that are more than likely going through a divorce and a separation that cannot ever seem to get on the same page because of the children. The male more than likely wants to see the child, but the woman doesn't like the way that the child's being trapped by the male and aggression starts, and then I'm blaming you still because of blah, 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 right here. <clears throat> now, if, if, if Steph, Jeff, and Steve, or Sarah, if there is a third party, then it more than likely has to be, I mean, you can fuck up your relationships through fiction, if you like, that people have been moaning at me talking about. If you want to mess up your commitments through fiction, then go right ahead by belief. Belief, believe, life, all spell L-I-E, lie, okay? Are you being lied to or are you being told the truth? Do you know or don't you know? Is it fact or is it fiction? Okay. So someone also, as a shit sponge for Steve, started having a go at me in the comment section that tarot is not fiction. It is facts. It is fiction if it isn't happened. If it isn't happened yet, it's fiction because it's not relating to you, right? It's only factual when it's happening, right? Because a, a matter of fact, that happened to me in the past. Fact, in the past. Matter of fact, this actually isn't happening to me and it isn't relating to me. There you go. It's fiction. It's not milk for you. It's someone else, right? It actually hasn't happened yet. I haven't watched Patreon. I don't know what the outcome is. This isn't relating to me because I don't know the outcome. Fiction, Patreon, if it's working and it is happening and it does happen, facts. How is that hard to understand <laughs> if, if the person that's been treating me like a shit sponge is still there? Are you still there, sweetheart? Okay. <laughs> You're not even a tarot reader. All right. <laughs> Things in life are only facts if you have the evidence to prove that it's facts. That's in court or out of court. You have to see it to believe it. I'm a realist. I don't believe in aliens because I haven't seen one. I realise that it could be true, but I don't believe in it because I haven't seen it. I'm a realist. Unless I see it and hear it with my own ears or my own eyes, I don't believe in fuck all. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. It's like channeling messages, right? I wouldn't have believed that my channel messages that I've channeled in the past would have come true unless a load of people told me, shit, you are absolutely spot on. And the channel messages that I've done are actually come true myself. Then I believe it. At the time of me doing it, I don't believe it, okay, until it happens and I think, oh, shit. I started saying that that was going on and then suddenly it started to happen, so it must be true. Now I've got the facts, the fact that it is true. 
okay fiction based until it happens okay is someone cheating or lying in a commitment or relationship fact over fiction okay some people follow tarot with fiction first make a problem out of fiction and follow the rabbit hole down to try and find out an answer that wasn't even there in the first place and they've caused harm in their commitments by falsely accusing someone of something that they haven't done because they've got their um facts from fiction <laughs> right fiction based third party situation finish your relationship i finished my relationship and later on i found out that they actually wasn't cheating so what was i doing all this time falsely accusing them through what fiction <laughs> now not everybody right <laughs> sorry it's just what well, it's my belief system it's what i believe in you don't have to Okay, so let's see. So why is this challenge, this page of wands for Sagittarius? Because of maybe a third party? Okay, but someone's hopeful for reconciliation. They're hoping that they can get back together with someone, but they're hoping that when I approach you, you're not still in a mood, okay? Because a mood is what causes this. An argument is what causes this. A disagreement is what causes this. So in order to get on the same page, I'm hopeful that you've calmed down by giving you some space and distance. Okay, good, good, that's good. Okay, distance and space is good. Gives people time to calm the fuck down, okay? So let's see, what's the King of Wands here for? For challenges is the chariot. Going to maybe plan to meet up some point in the future. So if you've already made that plan over the day or two or a few days and you've made that plan already, this is just waiting to hook up with this person to find out what this challenge is going to be with this Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. Because like I said, if there's a third party, it isn't a challenge. You just leave the building. You don't stay with the person. If you want to believe there is a third party without knowing, just quit your relationship. But me not doing that is fucking up the protocol of life which means it's dangerous for me to tell you for a fact that there's a third-party relationship without you knowing. You're just going to fuck up your relationship, and I have given you that advice to leave your destiny of where you are actually supposed to be. It breaks couples up for no reason. You have to have fact over fiction, okay? Because that's altering destiny, right? It's using tarot to alter destiny without facts, so it means that it's really fucking up the protocol of life of people that are actually supposed to be together. Okay, by what? Jump into conclusions without facts. Okay, that's just wisdom. That might not even be a part of your reading. It's just what a guide should actually help you with because that's what tarot is based around, a guide. Okay, for the people that need that. And if you already know it, you don't need it. Queen of Swords in in uh, reverse. Sorry, I'm just I'm just angry just lately, Sagittarius, because I do have <laughs> I have got Sagittarius in the first house. Um, I get annoyed by being treated like a shit, shit sponge of people that think that they know, but they they don't do tarot. They just like to bitch and moan. Right? <laughs> I can't stand it. The one fact is, I can tell you as a fact, right? This is a fact, and it's a true one because I've experienced it, right? On my channel, not once have I ever, well, I think there was one geezer, but he was being chat on by his wife, right? <laughs> but there is not ever really, apart from one, out of all the years that I've done this, have I had one male man watch this reading or these readings and complain at me. Not one male has ever done so. Okay, how many women in my comment section have I ever had that have lost their absolute cuckoo banana? How many? Fucking loads. Too many to count. Too many to count, right? That is a fact. That's by me doing this for many years, realizing, ooh, sometimes some people can be very cutting with their words. Okay, now if you can do that with a stranger and you do that in your relationship, then you're not fucking opening up your ear holes, okay? So there is a male energy here. There is two men with one woman in reverse. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at what this message is of what I see here. 
Now, is there a third party or is this an X? Okay, because there's two men. Okay, two men and one woman, right? So is this a woman that's doing this? Okay, that's actually seeing two men. And one of them is their ex that they're actually not talking to. But they've also met another man. But the man is actually seeing this woman that brings in the third party. It's kind of like an ex of one woman and a man has an ex of a, a, of a woman as well. He is struggling going through the motions of whatever he's going through. Okay, and she, mm, Alexa, that. stop. And she is going through the difficulty with this guy of that still happening too. So that brings in a five party. Two here, two here. Okay, there's the four people. Okay, and then those two want to leave each other for each other. Like they're going for a whole circle because the king is here as well. Three men, one woman, but these are counterparts, right? So this can be the scenario to look for, or if it's relating to you. <clears throat> one woman already has a, a, a guy. They already have this guy, but it's a karmic person that they've gone through the ringer with. This woman has also met one of these men, okay? But the, me the, but the man that they have met is also with a woman, but they are going through troubles too, okay? I'm also seeing that as a message. So let's see, because spirit just got me to see it automatically. I just kind of see that pattern there. So why is temperance? Show me temperance. Because we've got to get on with the, see, fours and fives. Four and five, four and five, four and five. Okay, that's the opposite. Taurus and Scorpio are the opposite signs to one another. So that makes five Sagittarius still, okay? Because you don't look for star signs. You look for the numbers. Numerology is more important because the numerology will lead to astrology, okay? <clears throat> because the number represents the card. We're dealing with tarot cards. I'm not an astrologist. I'm a numerologist, okay? So five and fours are the opposite. Scorpio, Taurus, they're the opposite signs to one another. Life path five, life path four opposite to one another life path four scorpio placements but this person doesn't have scorpio in their chart they're just a life path five trying to get on with someone that is that has scorpio in their chart another mismatch <clears throat> someone that has a life path four but they're trying to get on with someone that has sagittarius or taurus in their chart mismatched energy okay there is the conflict that is the most important part of this whole reading is there. That's your challenge, right? Your challenge is, is that the difference of belief, the difference of structure, planning, not liking to plan. I like to do what I want to do. So do I. I get in my own way when you get in my way because I want to do what I want to do. So do you. The opposite. You feel and think and do the opposite to one another. When you come close, you can end up getting on really well. You spend a little bit of time with one another and the magnet starts to detract you away from one another and you cannot figure out why. Because it's a bipolar energy of a magnet that attracts and detracts and retracts statements. Right? It's a karmic court of law. <clears throat> if you like, right? Attracting and retracting statements. Okay. You bitch. Oh, you're a narcissist. Oh, I'm a narcissist now. Yep. You're being very controlling. Well, you pissed me off because you do this. Okay. Well then now you're gaslighting. Oh, I'm gaslighting you now, right? Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't really mean now you're not a narcissist. I love you. <laughs> Let's get back together and have sex. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Till the next time, right? Now I retract my statement. You're shit. Really? Right. Fuck you and fuck you and fuck you. Who's next? Attracting, retracting. Attraction, retraction. Attracting statements. Going over what you said in the past. You said you wasn't going to say that anymore. Yeah, well, you pissed me off. <laughs> I rest my case, Sagittarius. Now, if that doesn't relate to you, it doesn't relate to you. Okay. 
just because it says Sagittarius on the on the <laughs> sorry guys, you keep coming up with the fives. Okay, so Alexa, give me another number between one and fifteen. Here's a number between one and fifteen. It's four. Four, Sagittarius. So you've got two and four, four, five, and six. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Capricorn or a Life Path Six. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, maybe, or a four, which is Scorpio, Aries, right? So that's just a little bit of numerology. So let's look at number what number four is. Their thoughts about this. Oh, this is going to be juicy. This is where Steve the old shit sponge comes into play. <laughs> what is this other person's thoughts about this with Sagittarius? What is this other person's thoughts about this with Sagittarius that they're going through? Three of Cups. They're hopeful for reconciliation. They still love you. They're still hopeful. They're at least, on the back end, still connected to you, right, here. They might want to go in your rear end. <clears throat> so uh, you got yourselves here, Sagittarius. This other person's thoughts about Sagittarius. Five. How calm are you at the moment, Sagittarius? <laughs> are you in a mood, Sagittarius? Are you going to take it out on me? Or um, I, do you want the truth or do you want me to lie? Well, you can see it, right? You make up your own mind. <laughs> this person thinks that you're violent and argumentative. There you go. Right? I can't change the cards. I can if you want, but they think that you're hard work, Sagittarian. <laughs> they think that you're very hard work. Now, if you don't believe me, then ask your partner. But if you do, you're more than likely going to cause an argument. Because <laughs> if they've already said to you, listen... Sagittarius, I think that your hard work, that you that you flip off at me and you have a go at me a lot. Please stop shouting. Please stop having a go at me. I don't want to argue anymore. If that really does ring a bell with you, John, <laughs> but if that really does ring a bell with you, right, just think about it before you act, right? Okay, I know that you are Sagittarians because I know a lot of them. My sister is a Sagittarian and my girlfriend is a life path five, right? <laughs> so trust me, I understand. I am not telling you through not experiencing this, okay? Just please try to calm the fuck down, Carmel, <laughs> right here. Now, because th th this, my sister, right, she's lovely. I haven't seen her in a while, but my sister's lovely. She's Sagittarian, right? She's great at times, but, oh, my God, if you get on the worst side of her. Oh, <laughs> if you get on the bad side of her, God. And she's married to a Taurus, right? <laughs> my sister, Sagittarius, is married to a Taurus. He's a five and she is a five, right? God. <laughs> God, dear. It's like walking into World War Five if they're there, if if they're arguing. <laughs> right? And a lot of the times it's because he wants to go and play golf. Right? I'm going golfing. Oh, you go golfing. <laughs> I'm working a 12-hour shift as a healer. My sister works 12-hour shifts at residential place with level three caring. Okay, <laughs> right, and then she comes home and her husband has done no housework whatsoever and he's got his feet up on the on the couch watching football, right, here, <laughs> right, World War Five. here, let's see, um, how does this person think about this situation with Sagittarius, right, because I can lie to you and say they think that you're very calm, Sagittarius, Okay, they think that you don't have a go at them. Okay, and they love you very much and they love your temper. I can tell you that all day long if you want to hear that. Okay, judgment. So you either want to learn, this is what Tara is about learning by my mistakes so I don't do it again. Right? Judgment. They realize that this is a very tricky situation because. Like I said, man, you you cannot make a person love you, but you can make a person extremely pissed off with you and actually not want to spend so much time with one another. And some people are like, oh, Kelly? Oh, I don't get why. 
<laughs> I don't get why you don't want to be around me. Because you're your mood, man. I've only got to say one little minor thing of a three of cups that I can't see you at night. And you've lost your shit at me because I can't do something that you want me to do? Please calm down. Now, that's me channeling what this person thinks, right? They might not tell you that, <laughs> but they think that, right? Because there's mental... This is also illness, right? There can be an illness here, but there can be a mental illness here, but there can be a confliction of pain and pleasure. Pain and pleasure, right? I love to be very pleasurable and very lovely, but then I also like to be jackal and hide, where, like, give it three days, and we're, we're doing really well for three days. On the third day of Christmas, does this happen? One, three, one, two, three, bam, you've lost your shit again. We've now separated again. I have tried to figure this out for the longest fucking time. Honestly. Anybody else out there understand why... Think about your words, Steve. You're talking to Sagittarius or like five. <laughs> or the 95% of women. <laughs> Why is it that people argue every third day? <clears throat> every single third day does this happen. It shows you in the cards, look. Three days. Three days from now. One, two, three, five. <laughs> right? Three days. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bam, five. Right? So they realize that every third day to someone start getting to the point where this is what someone thinks, right? That someone argues all the time to the point of not being able to bear staying around long enough. If you are like, if you're like, why does this person not want to be around me a lot? If you're like that, like, I'm dumbfounded. I don't know. Okay. This is what is in this person's mind. Now, please do not go and Spanish Inquisition anybody, because that will probably make it worse. This is private, right? It's a reading, but it is private thoughts. So I'm digging into someone's thoughts, right? Because I, I can assure you that a cross-watcher that's dating a Sagittarian at the moment is having a fucking field day, <laughs> right? I'm not kidding you. Some feminine that is dating a masculine uh, Sagittarius at the moment is more than likely having a field day with this saying spot on, Steve, if my comments were open. Guarantee you that one, <laughs> right? Now, that's fiction until it happens, but it won't because I've cut the comments off. So it's a prediction, right? It's still fiction. But again, here, uh, you can go down, Dave, if you want. Okay, so this person realizes that you break up, you make up, you break up, you make up, or you argue, you disagree, you don't get on. The Spanish Inquisition... They, this person could start to think that there's a mental illness here because of aggression. Okay. Pleasure and pain. Pleasurable energy, pain energy. Pleasure energy, pleasure energy. Pleasure and pain. Pleasure and pain. Self-harm in harm's way. Harness, Melanie. <laughs> but harm's way, right? You always seem to be in the center of attention of an argument. If it's there, why run off to try and sort out other people's shit and arguments? Why get stuck right in the middle of things that don't, like, serve you any good as a partner? If I'm a partner, why do you run off to try and get right in the center of attention so everybody can see how aggressive that you are? Why show yourself up like that? Okay. This can be out on a date and things like that too. Like, if someone's... Like, you go out, like, <laughs> my sister, <laughs> but she's a calm one. But, like, some people I've known, they can be, like, when they go out, they're like, right, I'm centre of attention, I want everybody to look at me. <laughs> now, that can be a Libra, maybe, but, like, everybody look at me, okay? Why do you have to go and do that? Why do you do that, okay? Why do you draw this attention to yourself? Okay, why is it that you get into arguments with me and draw all of this attention to yourself? Because it's just, too, it's justice. Judgment, justice, too. Execution, right? The outcome. Just. You do it to yourself. <laughs> it's a great song by Tom York. It's all about Libra. You do it to yourself, right? 
You do it to yourself, you do, and that's what really hurts, because you do it to yourself, it's true. <laughs> right, so that is what this person thinks. Now, I'm going to calm down with this one. I don't want to go too far into it, because I'm sure people are going <laughs> to... They do what they do. So if you would like to support Steve, don't forget that on my readings, I only get paid in two months' time for this reading, I will get $4. I'm not lying. $4 for this reading is pretty much what I will get in a month or two's time when it tallies up and I have a look. It'll be about $4, okay? I'm going off the stats of majority of my tarot readings, right? Unless it gets like three to 4,000 views, which is very rare. Okay, so hopefully you might consider joining Patreon. Patreon is extremely formative if you love the way that I read. If you don't, you're just going to hate me. Okay, but it's very informative and it dives right deep into your situations for two week readings now. They are a fortnight reading. So I do like from what did I do? The 26th until the 28th. Okay, and then I do the 28th onwards. So it gives you a week in advance. You still get your weekly readings, but at least it gives you that extra week to be aware of of what comes up then, of the do's and the don'ts of what to do and expect to come forward. Okay, fiction until it happens, right? But if you're on there and you think this is my situation, I might be able to change that as facts now to make it happen, okay, by doing the responsible thing. It changes your timeline. Makes facts, fiction into facts. Also. I can use you if you like, if you're still here. Okay, so all links are provided below, but you'll need to silver tier. Okay, or join the join button. It's only two or three dollars. You get free tarot questions every time I go live. Three dollars, that's it. Ask me what you like when I go live. Okay, so the the um what they call the adverts that come up on the reading. Okay, all the adverts that come through. Okay. If you could just do me a favor and click on it, right? Just click on the adverts. You don't have to spend any money. You don't have to buy anything. If you just click on the advert, I get paid. If you watch it, I don't get paid. If you click past it, I don't get paid, right? But if you click on the edit, if you click on the actual uh, advert, you go over to the website, it automatically pays me, okay? You don't have to buy anything. You can just open up another browser, allow it to come up, okay? Then close it and come back to the reading. Okay, if you can do that for me, we can test to find out how much it is that makes a difference. Okay, so anyway, all links are provided below if you are still here and you're not got fed up, and um, I will see you next time.